chicken and ribs. Yeehaw to barbecue. We have some seasoning tips from the experts today. Saying I do in 2020, it's a popular year to hear wedding bells. We have a preview of a big wedding show this weekend. Let's get crafty. Three easy Valentine's Day decorations that anyone can pull off. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Happy Thursday. Yes, we have an owl packed show today. I am Jen Tobias Jeske and poor Fiona. Aren't they so cute? Look at them. Oh, they are. That's Waylon cool. and Houston. Yeah, and they have got the thickest fur. You are so not soft. going to believe that. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, my God. We have got so much going on on the show today. Mm -hmm. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jan Tobias Jeske in for Fiona today. And what a good day to be here because we Ooh, have yes. barbecue. Yes, we love <laughs> our barbecue in Texas. Yep. And the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo's Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off and Festival is all about the slow cooking and grilling and good eating for a good cause. You know, some of these teams have been together for decades and it is a big deal. The raise money goes back to the Rodeo Scholarship Fund. And Steve Grams is here. You have your team yes. there and this is something you've done for a long time. You have some tips for us today, right? We've done it for a few years. I like <laughs> to cook with, with family and we're, that's our last name. So we have how many grams? That's where that comes that. from. It's fun. <laughs> and this is the biggest the most teams in Texas, the barbecue competition right, coming up this weekend. The largest sanctioned cook-off in the state of Texas. All right, let's get right to it. We have got a beautiful slab of ribs right here. Now, what I like to do with any meat that I'm prepping, whether it's ribs or chicken or anything else, mm -hmm. is I like to make sure I prep the meat first. Okay. So we're going to start with the back side of this. Go ahead and flip it over. All right. And you see you've got that membrane on the back. You want flavor to go all the way through that. So let's pull that thing that, off. That's, yeah, now no, it's a little slippery, so if you use a paper right. towel, you can actually get a good grip on that and pull that thing all the way off. So I pull that, hold this mm -hmm. like this. You bet. Just, oh, wow, that's coming You're doing off great. a yeah. lot easier than I thought it was going to. Yeah. So and just no keep, membrane. Pull the membrane. Pull that off. That way your <laughs> flavor goes all the way through that rack of ribs. All right. Now, ideally, you want to cook that rack until it gets just Is almost it? fall off the bone tender. There's some in there. Oh, there's more. We'll there's actually some. cut some. Of, uh, when we get ready to cook this, we'll actually cut all of that off as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. So get out of there, so, okay. And this so is what, something most people already know because I've never made ribs myself, but this is just, or is this, this is good information too, right? For somebody good. who wants to try. So once we get this off, then it is seasoning time and you, you have got bet. the kind of bill of rights of seasoning, right? What's the method to it? So what we're going to do with seasoning is we're going to add layers of seasoning. We want to start mm -hmm. with, we want to hit three flavor profiles of salty, okay. sweet, and spicy, all combined. So we want to start with salty. So the salty I like to use, your Bolner's Fiesta. Okay. Everybody knows your fajita seasoning. Just go so, ahead and oh, just put it on one. the back. Nice and nice medium coat of your salt. Let's flip the whole rack over. Okay. And you're doing great. We're gonna put you on the team. That's it. <laughs> nice even coat. Now typically we're gonna let that set in for about five minutes. Okay, so that really penetrates into Absolutely. the meat. Absolutely, let that, the, the water and the meat pull all that salt in, and then we're gonna go with the rib flavoring. Now I got two different rib deals, you can pick one. Right. Uh, pick either one you want. Okay, uh, which one's the best one? This is a brand new one that's not Try even that in the market. One, right? Try, we tasted that, that one, that one, one looks good. Okay, we're gonna get this one. And this guy's on the team, right? He's on a different team. He's so I'm competing there. against uh -oh. him. So uh -oh. he's actually a, Craig is actually a guy who has won the competition. He hit grand champion once upon a time. So, okay. so when, we, when, we put, when we put this one on, we want to go heavy. We oh, want to go okay. like that. Oh, wow. Just cover it. <laughs> That's a lot. Just like that. Those are a lot of that the stuff. seasoning doesn't do any good in the bottle. It really yeah, doesn't. Okay. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and once it's on there, we want to just make sure it's good and, and push into place and just let it sit for a while and let those flavors kind of mix in. Okay, well that's sitting. We do the chicken. I love yes, it. Chicken time. And there's a, a trick to that too, right? There is. Now with chicken, it's the same kind of thing. We want to do a uh, prep the meat first. Okay. Now what I like to do with chicken to make sure that we have uh, the meat prepped properly is I like to pull that skin all the way back. And the reason yeah. for that is there's all kinds of fat in yeah. there. Oh, yeah. And while fat is flavor, not all fat is flavor. So mm -hmm. we want to pull out like all of this stuff and all these things where that good bite's going to be. We want to just get oh, rid of that. Okay. So okay, you got it. And cut that off. So you can use knives or scissors. In some cases, you can just pull it off. Mm -hmm. You might want to try scissors on that piece right there. Okay. So while Jen's doing that, the competition starts tomorrow and runs through Saturday. That's correct. And it's out there at the rodeo grounds, right? Yes, it's, it's just off the grounds. We've okay. got our own property now. It's only about two and a half miles from the grounds. And it's open to anybody. Open to anybody. Come on, it's very family friendly with carnivals and live music and uh, over 100 vendors and 
tons and tons of barbecue. But this is a spectator event, basically. Some, some of the teams yes. do have samples for you, but don't go there expecting that you're going to get a plate of ribs or anything like that. Absolutely. I mean, we will have some barbecue vendors, and there are a number of teams that do like to share their product, and they, they ask for donations. Okay. Uh, but for the most part, it's it's like going to a race where you, you watch the cars, you don't participate in it. You know? Like when you go to the rodeo, you know, they have pony rides, but you don't get to ride all the show animals, you know? Okay. All, right. all right, so we'll okay, season so this. I think, I think I got most of it so out. So let's go ahead and start with a salt layer, and let's use okay. the same one, that, there you that, go. that fajita seasoning. Okay, you, I got chicken right. hands. So we're just going to put <laughs> okay. some of that all up in there, pull that skin all the way all back. The way back. Get all the way up in there. So you're pulling it back, but then you're going to put it We're going to put it back. right back. Hmm, okay. And when we pull it back, we're going to use our chicken seasoning. This is just one chicken seasoning that we like. So we'll take this guy and we'll put some of that wow. on there. Mm -hmm. Look at all of it. Make sure that's nice in there. I'm just, you know, the finished product right there is calling my name. And the best say. part is how he describes how he cooks we'll pull it all the way back over. that chicken yeah. then. Oh, you don't yeah, pop yeah. it on so there like we, that. You do this. <laughs> We're and gonna then season that side too. What do you, what do you put on top of there at the very end? <laughs> now the, the best way part. I cook my chickens, a lot of people cook them with, a, with what they call the pretty side up, like this, and they yeah. put all kinds of seasoning on there, and it looks great when it cooks. I do mine a little different. I flip <laughs> it over, and I make sure all that skin is pulled up and tied in place. Yeah. And I fill that whole cavity up with butter. Ooh, and that butter, butter just yeah, drips. Mm. And, then, oh, and then these ribs are going to cook <laughs> low and slow for about how long? Chicken will go for about 90 minutes, plus or minus, a couple hours until here. it hits the temperature. Ribs are going to cook for almost five hours. Mm. You tell me how they turned out. Okay, a little bit fell off the bone. I saw that. That piece just went right in there. All right, well, I'll get the details then for the... It kicks off tomorrow, and you can go out there, tickets, $15, mm -hmm. and go and enjoy yourself. There's also food trucks, there's entertainment, fun for the kids, family-friendly. Information's on the screen, but go to sarodeo.com for more information. How is it? Oh, yeah, we have a giveaway. Can't forget oh about gosh. the giveaway. Mike's eating, so I'll do this too. I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> so the rodeo barbecue cook-off ticket giveaway. Just enter at ksat.com slash SA Live. Woo! Good Steve, stuff. Thank you very much. Oh bit. my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, you eat. We'll talk okay. from barbecue to Broadway. Alright, this was the one of the biggest hits on Broadway. Well, the original one, Hamilton was. How about a look at the spoof Spamilton? Take a look. Attention, Hamel fans, you should rise up and head to the Empire Theater to catch Spamilton, an American parody. Now, we are about to head through this door, head backstage, and give you a sneak peek at the show and meet some of the cast. Cast members TJ Newton and Datus Prier join me right now, and they are going to help me raise a glass to this musical full of laughs, because it truly is, right? It is. <laughs> now, this musical uses music from Hamilton. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have music from Hamilton and music from many different other musicals, but we have new lyrics that spoof musical theater. Yes. And Lin Manuel Miranda, uh, who was the creator of Hamilton, really tells uh, the story of his quest to save Broadway. Tell me a little bit about getting to do something that spoofs another musical. It's been great. It's funny, a lot of us uh, are from New York City, so we've been in for the Hamilton calls and the auditions. So we're all very familiar with his music. So to be able to come in and to do the show completely different has been a relief and, and a fun kind of you know, outlet in a way that just audiences just really enjoy. And speaking of audiences enjoying it, what is the reaction during the show? Well, this theater is really wonderful because you can see that the stage is so close to the audience, so we get to watch the reaction. Sometimes yeah. you're in a theater and you really can't see the audience, but we see everything, you know, as it's happening, and they seem to love yeah, it. Yeah, and we break the fourth wall all the time, so sometimes we're really looking right at you, and you're just, you know, just having to just deal with it, because, you know, we're just going to continue to go, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so now we're backstage, and joining me is Kat member Marissa Hecker and hey. of course you play of course a sister with all the sass right? Yes I do <laughs> okay. all of the sass. <laughs> <laughs> now you have the most costume changes out of all the cast members. Mm -hmm. How many? I would say about a dozen costume changes. Wow. What's the fastest time? Less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds? Yeah. You don't need backstage, you need a phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. So these two are your sidekicks. Yes, they are. <laughs> these are my sisters. <laughs> so you use these puppets during the show. Mm -hmm. um, what do you love about incorporating these guys? Uh, they're just, they have a mind of their own. You know, sometimes, oh, what are you talking about? That's crazy. Okay, this is one of the first sort of surprise moments of the show because I come out with them behind my back and then when the Skylar Sisters song starts, it's just me and then I bring them out one by one and the audience has no idea that they're coming. 
I, I'm I feel fancy now. <laughs> I feel like I need a cocktail. I'm holding the glass. All right. Well, Matthew Hoagland joins me, and you are the music behind the show, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you play the piano the entire time? The entire 72, sometimes 74, depending on how fast or slow I play. Oh. Yeah, the entire time. It's oh. all me. Okay. So how long did it take you to learn the music for, for the show? Um, I learned the show in three days. Thankfully, I'm a really great sight reader. My pian my parents put me in piano lessons when I was uh, three, and I didn't stop. So thank you to your parents. Good. Thank you, mom and dad. <laughs> So because we cover mm -hmm. everything from musical theater, uh, it really plays on the fact that I've been doing this for a long time, which is nice. So it's able to like bring back some things that I played when I was a kid or things that I played while I was doing my masters or whatever it was. Um, and then getting to play what is tracked and what is done with computers on a piano in the Hamilton stuff. So it's a really cool mix of it for me. Well, that was really neat. So if you want to catch Spamilton, an American parody here at the Charlene McCombs Empire Theater, you can all the way through January 26th. But do not go through this door. Go through the main entrance at the front. Otherwise, they're all going to yell at me. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be gone by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Still ahead on SA Live, ready for some comfort food, burgers, Frito pie, hot dogs. Oh my goodness gracious, we'll take you to this hot spot in today's Elder Eats. And next on the show, consider these guests as your next party while alpacas are trending for weddings and birthday parties. We'll meet these cuties after the break. Stay with us. They are cuddly. 
<laughs> and they're therapeutic too. Hello, yes, you smell the feed. We're going to get that in a second. Uh, yes, this okay. is Waylon in Houston, and we have Loretta Hayeski. Hi here. there. How Good morning. morning. Caregiver for these cuties. Welcome. Thank you. So these are alpacas. They are. Uh, these are alpacas. Uh, Waylon is uh, seven years old, mm -hmm. okay. and Houston, <laughs> our young boy here. Boy. Yeah, that's what he's been waiting for. His alpaca Rita. Ooh, okay. Yeah, oh, this is a little bit of fun when we have weddings to let the the bride and groom have their first toast with the alpacas <laughs> and serve alpaca Rita's for them. And you've actually had these alpacas participate in the wedding, walking down with the the flower girl. Absolutely, it makes for an amazing fairy tale experience for the wedding and for the guests. Why are mm. they so popular nowadays? They're just an extremely trending animal. People are looking for other things fun for weddings mm -hmm. besides the little beer donkeys. Um, we put actual pack saddles on them and uh, they actually are bartending alpacas. <laughs> now these are obviously a little bit smaller cousin of llamas. Absolutely. Um, yeah. They're about 200 pounds smaller. Uh, their temperament is like a cucumber. They're very cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right now they're a little they hungry. hungry. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so they got a little snacks to eat on here. So, and, and speaking of weight, now looking at these guys, I had initially said, do they weigh like, I don't know, four or 500 pounds? Abs they actually weigh about 150, 160 pounds. Um, you're looking at a lot of fleece. They have several inches of fleece that will be sheared off in April, um, and it still has about another two inches to go and before that amazing. shearing. And there, it's There's the photos there when there you can is. see what they look like after they've been sheared, because you can see on their necks there, but then there's another photo that's coming up here too, and look, look at, at that. that. I mean, yeah. gosh. Yes. They look like long neck sheep almost. They do. <laughs> <laughs> they look like younger, they look like babies. So how much comes off then? So each one will have between eight and 10 pounds sheared off of them. Okay. Um, I actually am not a knitter, so I do not use it. I actually sell it to a lady who does crafting and knitting and um, she processes it and makes beautiful things out of it. That's just amazing how it's much so they have on there. And this is now between uh, llamas and alpacas and acunas, mm -hmm. this is kind of middle of the road as far as the, the fleece is concerned. Right. It's, very, it's very soft, very. It's extremely so soft and extremely warm. Alpaca fleece is one of the warmest natural fibers because of the special air molecule that's in the fleece. Each, each strand has an air molecule and it's an insulator for them. Oh, okay. Right. Now you said when you're gonna take them to a wedding or something like that, you have to kind of lock them up because they're like big kids like to play in the mud. We, we actually call it putting them in solitary confinement. <laughs> uh, it's just a little joke between us. We keep them in a air conditioned dried area because they do like to play in the mud, and that would be not a good thing to have at a wedding, a muddy alpaca. So we put them in a dry, uh, nice area before the event. Because I would assume trying to wash one of these things and dry it takes a while. It takes an entire day if you let it naturally dry. Um, they, they will absorb the water, and actually you have to use a similar to a squeegee, a body squeegee, and it what? actually to wow. get the water out of their fleece. And, and right. what are their personalities like? I know we have some fun <laughs> facts, but what about these guys specifically? Well, Waylon is Mr. Personality. He's extremely trained. He loves children. He will lay down and sit on oh. command. Um, he loves little, little children, and he's very easy to lead. That's why they're very good for weddings. Houston here is our three-year-old. He's the youngest of my herd of five, and he's very curious. He likes to get right up on your cheek and Aww. smell, and it looks like he's giving you a little kiss, which it's actually smelling, but it's very <laughs> sweet. Okay, we have some little fun facts here. Sure. They have excellent vision and are capable of spotting danger at a long distance to alert, alert the herd. They oh. do. We jokingly say they make an, uh, an alpaca alarm. It's, uh, it's a very high-pitched, shrill <laughs> sound, and each one will make that to alert if there's danger for them. Or usually it's something out of place, like my neighbor moved the cows to a different pasture, mm -hmm. but they immediately spot that and make an alarming sound, which notifies everybody. Otherwise, they've just been in the back of the studio, just kind of, mm, Yeah. You know, just, yeah. <laughs> just they they're, they're happy noise, I guess. Yeah. Thank okay, you. and if people want them at parties or right. weddings or anything right. like that. Yeah, they want them at parties, weddings, uh, play dates. All we them. are doing now <laughs> personal play dates. Um, play dates? Can, yeah, one hour play dates where we actually okay. come to your home and um, you get an entire hour to play with the alpaca in your home. Uh, Waylon wow. is actually a registered emotional support. He's my original support animal, uh -huh. but I do take him to events and he's And just, you said nursing homes. Too. I do a lot of nursing home, uh, assisted living facilities. Well, thank you so much. Thanks it's always for having a pleasure us. when you stop by. For more information, just go to 
salive.com, and you can find out how to book these cuties, and they are good company. Great. Nice party animals. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we were talking about, well, okay, you can you guys, here, eat that up. There you I know, go. I'm all out. <laughs> yeah. We've talked about special weddings, and of course, 2020 is a popular year to, uh, to tie the knot. Yes, that's right. The Texas Hill Country Wedding Show is this weekend, and these treats here are from Cakes Couture. Now, you may remember they've been on the show before, but look how beautiful these are. This is just a sample of what you will get to experience at the show. It's this Sunday in New Braunfels, but I mean, the list goes on. It's not just all these goodies, right, Mike? Oh it's my catering. goodness, we've got cannolis there, everything like that. There's gonna be catering, of course, makeup artists, entertainment, and so much more, because of course, June is right around the corner, and that's when a lot of brides like to get married, and that is coming up, the, uh, the wedding fair at the Hill Country Wedding Show. It is Sunday from 1 to 5 at the Village Venue, and that's 2032 Central Plaza. And for more information on that, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. But, oh, my goodness. Oh, and there's the little one that says... Oh, we're looking at some of the little <laughs> here. All right, still ahead on SA Live, getting the Valentine spirit. Speaking of love, we are DIYing some easy wreath ideas to add that perfect touch to your home. And next on the show. Why don't you stay with me through the weather, through the darkness, you be mine to Still ahead. We are giving you a sneak peek at local musician getting ready for his soulful performance this weekend. Stay with us. Well, 
If you wear glasses and contacts, you know they can be a burden, especially now that we are in allergy season with the mountain cedar. Oak pollen is coming up and, you know, it just adds to the itchy, watery eyes and everything. But how'd you like to get rid of the glasses, the contacts for good and save some money while you're at it? Richard Doinoff, Operations Manager with Manrique Custom Vision, is here to tell us the benefits of Z Laser. Good afternoon, sir. How are you today? So, all those folks that, I mean, sometimes can't even put the contacts in with all the allergies and everything like that, but wouldn't have to worry about it with Z Laser, right? Absolutely. Uh, once the Z Laser is done, I mean, you're done with it. You get rid of your glasses and contacts. Uh, near sightedness, far sightedness, and even astigmatism can be treated at our clinic. So, just about anything that you have as far as vision problems can be treated with this. There's certain limitations, though. Absolutely. You can just call the office and we can go over that stuff with you. And sometimes, even if you go over 40 mm -hmm. uh, and you go on a reading glasses, we can actually fix that also. Oh, so you don't need the cheaters all laying eight different pairs laying around the house. Absolutely. Yes, little sir. places. Yeah, we all know about that. So, what's, <laughs> what's the procedure that you go in? Uh, Obviously, an appointment to begin with to see mm -hmm. what you need, but then when you go in for the actual procedure, what's that like? A procedure is actually real quick. Um, you go in, you're only in the laser suite for about eight minutes, but the total laser time is under 30 seconds, and I and you're done with it. Uh, the whole time that you're there is the prep time, and Dr. Manrique is just keeping you at ease because we know everybody's nervous. The staff is keeping it where you're not nervous, but the ma most amazing part of my job is when they get up off of the laser and we look at them and take their picture for Facebook, they can all see us across the room. I mean, and they, they, most of them couldn't even see this far in front of them before. So the results are instantaneous, yep. and there's not that much recovery, right? Oh, just go home and sleep for about four hours, and you're good. But there's no cutting of the eye, so you don't have to uh, necessarily heal like that, right? Totally laser-driven, blade-free, pain-free, and in just a few seconds an eye, you're done with it. And Dr. Manrique has done literally tens of thousands of these procedures. We're, we're up actually at right about 52,000 laser procedures right now. And you have got a good deal. If you thought about getting rid of the glasses and contacts, it was good. This is even better. How much off today? Uh, $1,800 off. And the, the kicker of this is as great as that we're actually able to offer 36 months interest free with approved credit, of course, but we've never been able to offer that before. Wow. So that, and then for the next hour, you have to call or text. You can call 210-354-2020 or text LASIK to 45384. And just for the next hour, $1,800 off the Z LASIK procedure. And then, like you said, the 36 months interest free if you qualify for that. Yep. All right. Very for, more, for more information on Manrique Custom Vision, vision visit their website at sa.manriqueeye.com. Richard, thank you very much. Good to oh, see you, sir. Good to see you. All right, still ahead on SA Live, feeling the love as we count down to Valentine's Day. We have some DIY wreath ideas that you can try, and they are beautiful. And next on the show, hope you're hungry. We are getting a taste of comfort food on this Elder Eat. Oh, that looks good. Stay with us. If you're looking for a huge bird,
If you're looking for a huge burger, then the big cheese is what you need. Toasted buns, four never frozen seasoned all beef patties and four slices of different kinds of cheese all get drenched in queso. Then the top bun is added and this monster is ready to inhale. This right here is the Big Cheese Cheeseburger, only available at the Shack. They're now open right here off 410. Look at that thing. Come on, the Big Cheese. I'm gonna try to take a bite out of it. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh my goodness. That is real good. Owner Freddie Morales and his wife have created a fun, wacky menu that genuinely works. Elevated carnival food that will satisfy everyone in the family. We moved locations. We were on Prue and Babcock. Uh, now we were able to come over here and get our own spot. Um, a lot more room for our customers and all that. And uh, yeah, man, the shack is just a place where you can come down and get some good comfort food. And they're cranking out their food with quality ingredients, like Nathan brand hot dogs. All right, so when you come out to the shack, they have a really big menu. I mean, you got all kinds of frozen things and fried things. They got burgers, hot dog sandwiches. I mean, just look at this tray. <laughs> I mean, this is just a small look into their menu out here, and it is all amazing. Check this one out. This is one I want to show you all right there. This is exactly what you think it is. This is an enchilada stuffed inside of a hot dog. It has melted cheese on top, enchilada sauce. I'm going to bite right into that bad boy. That is really good. Straightforward, delicious. Hot dog has a great little texture to it because they're frying it right there on the flat top. The Shack is an extreme burger and hot dog restaurant with a new location off 410 on the west side. This is a brisket barbecue pickle onion hot dog. All right, so it's like a barbecue hot dog. Now, if you're looking to be a little more health conscious this year, of course, you can do that out here at well at the Shack. They have the keto burger, all right? Their buns out here have an equivalent of five grams of carbs, so you know you're making something, a healthy decision right there. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. Hot egg on there, cheese. Bacon, burger, lettuce, tomatoes, and that keto bun. That is fantastic. Plus, their burger patties are never frozen. It has chorizo, grilled onion, and jalapenos, mayo, lettuce, and tomato. What's up? Shack Riso. Their desserts are over the top. And for the dessert of all desserts, look at this thing right here, the Oreo explosion. It's Oreo churros that are stuffed and then they have two scoops of ice cream covered in more Oreos I and mean, where else can you go and get a funnel cake any time of the year you guys got to come out here the shack now open over here on the west side right up 410 I mean amazing food great desserts great people <laughs> the desserts are where it's at though it's really good All right, I'm just full watching that. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, he's getting ready to take the stage. A soulful singer from San Antonio is giving us a sneak peek at his upcoming performance. He is great. Don't go anywhere. And get crafty for Valentine's Day. Woohoo, my favorite thing. We're making some Valentine's Day wreaths, and they are easy to make. You can try. That's coming up.
Welcome back, everyone. Oh, oh we do love you loads, John. Ted and John, isn't that sweet? <laughs> They're going to exchange candy hearts here in a minute. So anyway, welcome back, everyone. Valentine's Day is just a couple of weeks away. Actually, it's three weeks from tomorrow. Already? Guys, get ready to start hunting for all yeah, the cards and the flowers and everything like that. Creative way to tell your special Valentine how much and how you feel. Yes. And we have just the thing. Fun decorations. Megan Martinez with Elemen. Blooms is here, and you're the crafty queen. We love having you oh, on. thank you. Last time you came, you made mums. Yes. Now we're doing these beautiful wreaths, but you have them in levels, right, for us? Yes, yeah. So we're trying to get the DIY um, aspect of wreath making here. So um, I brought a few different wreaths here. Mm -hmm. uh, what Mike's doing is the ribbon wrapped wreath, something so simple. Um, it's really fun to do with your children also. Uh, so I started it out for him just getting the pipe cleaner on one on yeah, one section you, there. You can't see it underneath yeah. there, but there you can barely see the, the little pipe so cleaner, and she used that to, to tie the end on okay, there. Yeah, so you and just secure it there. Just start wrapping. And the frames you can get at uh, The frames you can Michael's, get at any any uh, local craft store. Um, the dollar even store sells these too. The dollar store also, mm -hmm. yes. And there's saying. the dollar wow. store has wonderful craft supplies uh, that won't break your budget. So again, it's it's easy enough for anybody. So once you're done with wrapping the ribbon around, you I'll, you secure it again. And so right there right to cover there. where you put the where you put the end of the ribbon, you, you want to just take some other embellishments and what we can do is I you can stick it in there, there. Oh. and then mm -hmm. you can just put a dab of glue but okay. be careful cuz that yeah. it's okay. metal so it will get hot. Um, so you just okay. dab it and then just very Take carefully it securing yeah. it with the hot glue. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So and then there's another uh, if you want to put that Your embellishments. Love hot. The glue. truck right there. I love the polka dots. Oh, careful! It might get really hot. Yeah. You okay? My hot, no, my hot okay. is not drying so, yet. So okay. So then you can put you know the other embellishments on there. You can just kind of stick them in the same oh. side or and on just, the other and side. And just hot glue them. Exactly. So that's an easy enough. Uh, wreaths just to put anywhere, you know, in the kitchen, back door, front door, wherever you want to put classroom it. Classroom for teachers. Exactly. I yes. love that. Yes, that would be a cute uh, classroom idea to uh, to have the teachers and the students work together. Yes. And so, and then right here we have your tr more traditional me mesh wreath. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you told me earlier. Yes. You these so bowls, you right? have your pre-cut pieces of mesh, just and like then you this. just yes, and these are cut down to ten inches each. Okay. So 10 inches. you just you roll them. Uh huh. And you can use however many colors you want. I chose three colors, traditional Valentine colors. And then you just put them together, you pinch them. Pinch. And then right here. Right here? Yep. You just put them down. Look how and easy you, that is. You squeeze it down and twist just to make sure that they're secure. And with this, there's no hot glue. So this would be perfect for the kids, too. Which with right. The, and yes. good motor skills Absolutely. and everything. Twisting and then all just together. do a little curl. See? Yes. They see, and you can it. even get a pencil and, and curl this. Just and so you can utilize that extra. And then piece. for the in betweens. Yes, for the in betweens, you can have different um, sizes of ribbon, and these are also cut down to ten inches each. Pinch in the just, middle. Yes, you layer them, then you pinch them, and then you just find a Thank spot that needs some okay. ribbon, and you just put it there. So the, the same key thing. is to fill in all those little gaps. Exactly right? right. And then there's other embellishments that you can put on there. These oh, are also cute. found at local craft stores. And it's okay, just mix and match. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. It doesn't have to be, you know, uniform or anything. It doesn't have and to be perfect. And the nice thing with these too is they there. can be inside or outside Yes, trees. yes, like absolutely. Um, so you can hang them inside, outside. Beautiful. Above the mantle oh, looks super that? cute. Uh, on the door, of course. And this the last the one, advanced that's more advanced. Yes. But, so oh, here's beautiful. your traditional flower wreath um, with Valentine colors. So what I did was I found um, one bunch of, of flowers with you know, a fuller bunch mm -hmm. that had many flowers and I separated it in two pieces. So we just... You can just snip those off there? Yes. Okay. I, do you want to go yeah, ahead and here. snip some? And we're getting so short of time here. But. but these you can find anywhere. You put exactly. them in there and then you're going to add this beautiful bow that you put yes. together. So you just find the spot again, mm -hmm. just stick it in there and dab it with some glue and to secure it. she said it. the hint is when you're going to store these, put them in a black plastic yep. bag and maybe use uh, the hangers with the little pinches on them for uh, pants or shorts or something them, like right? that. Yes, awesome. yes. preserve them. So thank you so much. And Great for more ideas. Information. She does make these. If you want her to do the work for you, just go to salive.com and click the ask scene on SA Live tab. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, actor and comedian T.J. Miller drops by for some laughs and talks about his comedy tour. Ooh, exciting! And we have fur, scales, and feathers. Learn the pros and cons of caring for a few of those less common.
mom and household pets tomorrow at one on as they love. <laughs> Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, he is a native musician and kind of a combination of jazz and blues and soul. And Joel Adrian Gracia is going to be performing this weekend, but you get to hear him right now in just a couple of minutes. First of all, what do you like best? Is it the blues? Is it the jazz? Is it the soul? Uh, I think it has to be the soul. Yeah? Yeah, I think the soul runs deepest to me. People say I have an old one. Yeah? Yeah, yes, sir. Who's your favorite musician, soul musician? Uh, soul musician, I mean, it's always going to be Marvin Gaye. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of a lot of artists out there right now. I'm looking up to John Mayer a lot, just as far as his whole entire career. You know. So you're junior in college right now, studying business. Yes, sir. Okay. How come? But majoring or used to minor, pardon me, in music. Yeah, uh, I've been involved in the in the music school at St. Mary's too, but uh, mostly involved in the business school. Just hoping that. Uh, I take the business route because that's the side of the industry that I want to be um, more involved in. Okay, and then still perform though too. No, of course, of course. Because that's your love, right? Mm -hmm. And I manage your own yeah. business and you're going to be all set. Yes, so. sir, hopefully. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, and he's going to be plan. playing this weekend at the uh, 6 p.m. at the Q Bar on Saturday inside the Higher Regency San Antonio Riverwalk. But right now, we get a sneak peek, so take it away. Yeah. 
memory of you floats back like the tide I'm wondering when you'll be back by my side again We used to sit right here and watch the sea I'm wondering what will become of you and me But now I'm stressed out I'm strong out about what went down Thinking how differently things turned out And if it hits your phone, what would you say now? Cause you got a guy and he seems just fine I'm trying to act like I don't mind But you and I both know that's a lie It's true Why don't you stay with me? Through the weather, through the darkness You'll be mine to keep You'll never have another if you Be my friend My love and my companion Be there till the end Spot like a plane I'm wondering if you'll ever feel the same again We used to sit right here and watch the clouds I'm wondering if you're thinking about that now Cause I'm thinking about you Friend you got it thinking of me too Cause you and I
Oh, what a fun day today. Oh, Lots yeah. of good food, mm-hmm. barbecue, and... Look at that. Really, don't forget the wedding fair. These bottles. Yes, indeed. But a big thing tomorrow. Can't believe it's already here. Yep, the cowboy breakfast. I mean, tacos, biscuits. You went out there a few years ago with Fiona. I had, that was yeah, fun. That was the last time <laughs> I was out there with Fiona. And uh, But, boy, I remember when it's been all over the place there. And it's at 4.30 to 8.30, Cowboys Dance Hall parking mm-hmm. lot. That's always a we fun time. We still have that mechanical bull out there. Yeah, and it, it's going to be pretty chilly out there. Temperature's okay. going to be around 40, but there's not going to be any sleet, rain, there anything like like in past years. 40 is good because you can have your coffee and your taco and just mm, mm, mm. And we will be back here at 1 o'clock tomorrow. All right. Thanks so much for watching. And we got TJ Miller. Tune in tomorrow. Got the celebs. You going to give me a bite of that? Hi everyone, it's Mike and Jen coming up on the next SA Live. We're doing some kickboxing. Oh. And comedian <laughs> and actor TJ Miller is going to be here. You know him from all the great movies.